just shifting gears uh, to Chandrakant, I would be very curious to hear from Chandrakant as to saying, what are the one, two, three things which he thinks are feasible to make it level playing field and saying, what is missing? First of all, let me tell you that uh, you, you spoke about Japanese. You know, Japanese people nowadays giving example of Indians that say Monday to Saturday they are working. They are not thinking about family. They are not thinking about this thing. And p earlier days, 90s, early 90s, chalta hai, us waq chalta tha, abhi nahi chalta hai. Abhi my entrepreneurs have become very strong. They are focusing on technology. They are focusing on the quality. They are focusing on the supply on time because now they are alert, competition is increased. If they will not adopt this governance or good governance or business ethics, they will not survive in this make in India. Another very interesting thing, uh, as you said that what are the you know challenges and opportunity for SMEs and what to be done for them? First, rate of interest, whatever the loan my SMEs are enjoying. Why not a prime minister or the uh, finance minister? Even last week, RBI governor requesting banks to reduce the rate of interest. Why he is not uh, sending a letter? Okay, go up to seven. Demonetization. Uh, the impact of the demonetization on SME is huge. They are, they, they are the first loser of their casual labors because they can't pay cash in, uh, to the regular labors. Another very interesting, banks are not providing on-time finance, adequate finance. You know, I insist bankers, I'm the member of Monetary Policy Review Committee, even I meet a lot of times, all the chairman bank. I insisted that if any company approaching, since you are in consulting, this is a very interesting thing to take advice from you. If any entrepreneur approaching any bank, they should give a 25% extra money for capital purchase, capital goods purchase. Second thing, how many entrepreneurs allocating fund for marketing and promotion for international market? No one. So I have insisted uh, uh, Canada Bank to provide you loan up to one crore for marketing and promotion for international market. For last two years, a lot of SMEs are enjoying. Those are interested, they can contact SME Chamber of India, we can give you advice. Why will go for behind government? So they will pay you 200, 2 lakh, 3 lakhs rupees. Instead of you allocate your fund, enjoy your promotion, grab your business. Another very interesting, you know, in the, under this Make in India, why I'm, I'm not negative about the Make in India, but what SMEs are facing, that picture I want to clarify. Then only we can think about future of SMEs. You know, you are giving training unskilled person to become a skill. School dropouts, even uh, IITI or any newcomers are coming. You are giving education, particularly SMEs in rural area. After two, three years, four years, they are going in large company. So who is a uh, loser? Our SMEs. Another very interesting, marketing and promotion. Locally, how many entrepreneurs are utilizing the advanced technology for marketing and branding and promotion? Now, I can say 20, 25 percent. No one is giving more trust on social media. Social media, e-com, what? Another very interesting, uh, the challenge in, um, uh, against the, uh, this uh, SME segment, that a lot of companies are closing down operations and they are starting service industry. So how our SME will, you know, transform their business activity, that is most important. Another very interesting thing, you can go for a SME stock exchange. Now the next session is SME stock exchange. Uh, I'm happy to inform you that SME stock exchange brought by me. When Mr. C.B. Bhave took a charge, I insisted him, we want capital market for SMEs. A platform should be created. And now the BSC has crossed 200 uh, listing. So this is the one, and very interesting thing, you know, particularly, those SMEs supplying, because, you know, for fourth point, I can say, SMEs supplying to large companies. Now, there is an electronic platform initiated by us that trades. Are you aware about the trades? You can list your bill there, whatever the, uh, the supply to any corporate. You will be getting that 30 to 45 days, you know, uh, from customer instead of the instant money you will be getting. So, take advantage of that. Uh, switching gears back to uh, Viren, what is it which a financial investor or a partner or a private equity person looks in and, you know, I'll let him deal with that. What we look for, what an investor looks for is two or three things. A good solid business, good solid management, good product, uh, 
assets have to be good and would like high degree of compliance. If I have, to, if I've walked away from many, many acquisitions in India, it's because the compliances were not up to mark. I just, I'm, so it's something which all of us should, and it was one of the points that I wanted to make, so I'm bringing it up in this point. It, it looks simple, but it's very difficult to implement, especially when you're small, and it's, it does get a bit of cost into it, not too much, but it's worth it. It's like paying your taxes in time, doing your compliances, and compliances is, not, is everything. You know, I don't know if you know this, but I was not aware of this till I, I came into Sigma and I, I implemented it. Even for every industry like us, of course, but in Maharashtra, there are 700 laws that we have to follow as an entity in the state. And the same for my factories in Rajasthan, another 700 odd, and only there are 200 which are not common, so unique here. So these, this is what we have to, we have to face, but that's, some of them are just reports, nil report hai, but if you don't do it, theoretically you could go to jail, you not go to jail, but that's the law. And I'm not, I'm not getting into the right and wrong, I'm only trying to share with you that being compliant, at least in my mind, I sleep well every night with respect to my compliances. Everything is compliant in the organization. It's fairly large because several thousand people, several plants across India. So we're very compliant. That's, that's the one thing I would say to you. As investors, we walk away from businesses which are not compliant. Baki sab chal jayega. If this profitability is less, assets mein kuch karna hai, compliance mein hum kuch nahi kar sakte. We find it very difficult to. So I, I would emphasize that as the highest level of what an investor will look for. And again, just to reinforce, there is a lot of financing available in terms of good companies willing, good investors willing to come in and partner, willing to come in and JV, come in and acquire a minority, majority, 100% stake, all options are there, and they're good people. Some, oh fine, you can get good and you can get bad investors. That, one, that's, that's the way the world works. But I've at least had the experience of working and s interacting with people who are amazingly good. And if you're doing a good job and you're going to continue, they're willing to leave you alone. Remember, as an investor, if you've got the conviction that you can grow it and you've got a good way of doing it and you're compliant and your thinking is clean, the investor will respect that and support you and let and grow together. And, and may both of you have the same, same vision. You want to grow and become profitable and make money from, an, from your investment becoming uh, much be more valuable. He has the same. So if you can work together in tandem, it's a perfect relationship. Let the floor go for questions. I'm Ashish Beragli. Uh, coming from ACM Software Private Limited. So uh, I went to buy a cell phone and the person who was showing me cell phones had all the China made cell phones to show. Even the Chinese phones have made in India written there and that is kind of misleading and that is used by the shopkeepers. So what can change this situation for, for the Indian uh, uh, manufacturers? See, first of all, mindset to be changed. How the Trump is talking my America why not we can talk my India, made in India product? See, when Mr. Modi was a chief minister of Gujarat, he st st emphasizing that made in Gujarat. So why not all my friends sitting here talk from today made in Maharashtra, made in India, or made by SMEs? So then only we can st start, you know, encouraging our suppliers or our buyers or marketing heads. That is one. Second thing, uh, we should focus on uh, buying a quality product. So automatically, Indian companies will also manufacture quality products and advanced technology. So first, change the mindset. Then only we can uh, promote our Indian product, uh, not only in India, but out of the India also. But let me help you with your uh, answer a little bit and we can take it offline. It's a more complicated discussion than just marketing and availability. There is also, you know, import tariffs. There is who wants to manufacture. There is scale. There is, you know, you have international agreements which you just can't stop. There is anti-dumping. So there's a complicated question as to saying. But if you're saying why it is not available, well, uh, then, uh, but the Venkat, scale, who manufactures, right? Maybe, Venkat, uh, that uh, China company must be paid more for marketing. Or maybe uh, he transform his mindset to product, promote his product. So let's adapt this concept from our Indian point of view. Please. 
this question is specifically for Mr. Joshi. Yes, please. If the customer gives an unreasonable time period, and if we say that it is not possible, and if the competitor says it's possible, if he is cheating, no doubt, and we lose the business, how to tackle this? Great question. It happens every day. I'm sure it happens to all of us. It happens to me. It happens to you. And there is no way out. We have to let, we need to let the customer go through that trial. We need to suffer the loss for him because you cannot do it unreasonable. You should not be unreasonable because if you try to give into that unreasonable demand, you'll fail and you, you've, you've lost it. It's better to let him lose it, the competitor lose it, and come, then the customer comes back to you. And you can, there are ways you can frame it. If he says, I want 100 in a month, and you say you can only do 50 in a month, then you say, okay, I'll, I'll do, you, you have to frame it in, in the context of what he wants and give him part of what he wants to do and say, okay, I'll give you, I'll give you the, next, the next batch in, uh, on the 10th of the next month. And instead of 30 days, I'll do it in 40 days. Now, you can frame it. And I get this every day. Every day we have an unreasonable or a very or a demand, and we also. I'm again admitting to you first upfront that we make this mistake. It's not that we have, make them picture perfect. We bully karte. We make this mistake and we fall. And I keep telling my guys, mat karo aisa. Yes, you need to stretch. You want business? We're all hungry for it. So it's part of life. You and we're all in the same boat. But be careful not to stretch. So your question is absolutely on the pan. And on a global basis, it's better to be cautious. Under 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 a promise and over deliver is what I would always say to you. Customers love that in the end, much better. You you'll you'll gain more business ultimately. I can I can assure you that I can guarantee. Like the signing of a check, I can confirm that to you. That's what will happen. Thank you. One last question. I am Vijay Gandhi from M Tech Innovation. My question for Chandrakant is uh, the major challenge we are facing in India is inverted duty, anything inverted duty, okay. where if you are importing finished product, custom duty is zero. If we are importing a raw material, custom duty is 10%. Anything we are doing for this? See, for this purpose, you know, we have to work before budget. All of you, I suggest, you know, my email ID, SME Chamber of India at vsnl.net. I suggest those are having you know, this kind of issues, particularly on the operation level, government level, banking level, or any issue related, any particularly for industrial purpose, please share. Because unless until we will not hear, doctor will not give you the medicine. Similarly, we are uh, like organization. So I suggest, you know, uh, particularly this uh, subject, if you can share with me uh, on your letterhead, we can definitely work on with DIT last almost six years and unfortunately because of operational issues, uh, procedures no, are not changed. Which, which platform you are discussing depend on that yeah. also. Okay, I will communicate you. Yes. So another way, let me add, a lot of uh, entrepreneurs facing problem to get venture capital and private equity. Those entrepreneurs are facing, you know, really we can support them. Another very interesting thing, you know, skill, skill, uh, National Skill Development Corporation, they are providing support. And so many entrepreneurs are producing the quality manpower, giving education to them. Why you are not taking advantage of them? And also I suggest those are having the industrial premise, those are looking for joint venture, technology transfer, and those are looking to go beyond boundary, we can support them. So then only we can think of future of SMEs to compete to the world market. Thank you. Thank you.